let's talk about the books I read in May. Hey everyone, it's Shiley and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be talking about the books that I read in May. So that's going to be the books I finished reading in May and the books I started reading in May. So let's first start with the ones we finished in no particular order. First of all, you know that I need to talk about Happy Place by Emily Henry, which was highly anticipated for me. Loved this book so much. I don't think you're surprised. If you know me, you know I love Emily Henry's new adult books. Beach read, book lovers, people we meet on vacation. This one did not disappoint. Loved the witty banter in this so much. I love the fake dating aspect. Let me give you a little bit of info about this in case you haven't read it. So it's basically about this girl who has five friends and they always stay at this like house together and they've been friends for like 10 years and this is just always the place they come back to even if they're living in different places in their lives and this time it's a little bit different because it's the last time gonna, they're going to be able to vacation in this house because it's about to get sold and she needs to fake date her ex-fiance because her friends don't know yet that they broke up and there's like a reason why they can't know. This book was so heartfelt and had so many beautiful lines and I love how Emily also took us through the past and told us about like the trajectory of the relationship and how they got to where they are now. I also love reading the friendship aspect and of course the setting. The setting was beautiful. I feel like Emily with every book she just builds such a beautiful gorgeous setting that makes me want to visit that place. So really 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 enjoyed this one and I would give this four and a half stars. Next we have Throwback by Maureen Gu which was highly anticipated for me. I love her YA novels and this one had a little less romance than her other books but I still really enjoyed it. It's about a mom and daughter who get into this huge fight and the daughter gets sent back to the 90s when her mom was in high school and she basically has to help her mom win homecoming queen in order to like fulfill her mission and get back to present day and it was really really heartfelt and emotional at times. It was so beautiful and I of course love the 90s references. This took place mostly in 90s. 1995. Just this nostalgic era for me. I was born in 97 but I still love the 90s and like Y2K and things like that so I really really appreciated it for that aspect. The romance in here was sweet. I would say that I wanted a little bit more from the romance. I know that this book is mostly about mother-daughter. I mean look at the cover but I think a little bit more could have been done with the romance to make us kind of like crave for them to be together just a little bit more. That would have been like have made this book like a five stars for me. As it is right now I would give this book a four and a half as well. Next we have The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. I'm gonna tell you right now that this is a five star this is a five star I think this is one of my new favorite books honestly I'm so excited to read more from Abby Jimenez shout out to my friends Jennifer and Ori for like inspiring me to read this book I mean Jennifer loves Abby's other books she hasn't read this one yet but she's like you've got to read Abby and my friend Ori loves this specific book she's like you've got to read this book so I'm glad that I picked it up and it's told in dual POV and this girl and this guy basically like have this like run in with each other and it turns out they were on their way to the same place. Best friends are getting married so she's going to be maid of honor. He's going to be the best man. So they get into this like little tiny tiff in the beginning but it, honestly it soon dissipates. It's This is not like an enemies to lovers book. It's actually a getting out of the friend zone kind of story. Um, she essentially friend zones him even though it's clear that they're both really in love with each other. She has really deep like reasons for it. One of them being well I mean she's kind of with someone who lives he's in the military and like doesn't live where they are and I really love how this book does try to like preach the importance of staying faithful to someone. I really really appreciated that. I think if this book supported cheating I would have docked it <laughs> immediately. Cough cough <laughs> good girl complex by L Kennedy which I had to DNF. Oh my gosh that book that book highly preached cheating. I don't even want to talk about it. And also the protagonist here deals with infertility. There were a lot of real and difficult topics that were approached in this book but I just really appreciated the mix between like the giddy giggling romantic bantery stuff and then the more like heartfelt stuff. Really really appreciated it and really love this one so much. Those are the books that I finished reading in May. I'm gonna be talking about the ones that I'm in the middle of. Well okay technically I actually did finish this but I finished it in June so I won't give my star rating yet but I will tell you that I really enjoyed it and it's about a girl and a guy in their senior year of high school. The girl just transferred in and she basically starts to discover that she has this love for STEM and she joins this robotics club and the guy in this book is like in charge of it. His dad's like this huge CEO. Like he always feels like all eyes are on him. He puts a lot of pressure on himself to always like be in charge of everything and make sure everything's going smoothly and they kind of butt heads in the beginning but obviously this is a romance. It's literally called My Mechanical Romance which is a pun on the band My Chemical Romance. I would really recommend this book for um, girls who are interested in STEM or literally anybody just looking for a good love story <laughs> just really really appreciated it and the author Alexine Farrell-Falmouth is Olivia Blake who wrote The Atlas Six. 
as well as other stories. And the author, actually her husband, I believe is in STEM. So I think that he helped like inspire like the scientific part of the story, which I think is so sweet that they collaborated on that. And the author is Alexine Farrell Falmouth, AKA, hold on one second, Olivia Blake, who wrote The Atlas Six, which I have yet to read, but I am reading one for my enemy, which I know I talked about this last month. I'm still not done reading it. I'm sorry, but I am loving it. This is a modern, retelling of Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare of course this is set in New York City about two feuding families who are witches both families are witches hate each other there's forbidden love there is drama there are fairies involved there is magic involved and I'm really enjoying this I love how the book is actually divided into five acts the way that a Shakespeare play would be and I can't wait to share more of my thoughts and my star rating when I'm done reading this. I'm also in the middle of Happiness for Beginners by Katherine Center. I decided to pick this up because I love her rom-com The Bodyguard. Her backlist, I will say, is not rom-com. It's more like contemporary with romance in it. Um, but I am really enjoying this so far. It's about a woman who gets divorced and a year later she decides like she needs a huge life change and signs up for this like insane survival course, like wilderness survival. Like she's not equipped for this no matter how prepared she thinks she is. Luckily her best, her brother's best friend is on this trip too and he is like an expert when it comes to this stuff but she kind of doesn't like him like they have this weird like love hate thing going on with each other he's also like 10 years younger than her so this is I think is my first age gap romance book if you're into age gap romance you might enjoy this um there are a lot of really heartfelt scenes in here and I'm very excited to continue reading so that I can see you know the character has something that she thinks she needs but what is it that she actually needs you know want versus need and all of that this is definitely a good lesson in craft this book so if you're a writer I would also recommend this and can't wait to give my star rating when I'm done reading it oh and um this is gonna be a Netflix movie soon so stay tuned for that and the last book that I'm in the middle of or about a third of the way through is We Ship It by Lauren Kay thank you so much to Harper Teen for sending this to me like the fact that they wanted to send me the arc at all was amazing I'm so glad that I requested it but they ended up sending me a finished copy which I just thank you so 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 much Harper Teen and shout out to Epic Reads as well. Um, this is by Lauren Kay, like I said. This is a debut novel, it's a YA, and think basically like a type A, almost like Rory Gilmore type. She goes on this cruise with her family. It's the last place she wants to be on right now during her break because she's supposed to be creating this writing this paper and creating this like scientific presentation that's due a week later and instead she's stuck on this cruise so she's trying really hard to focus on her work but of course she's getting distracted by this guy that she meets who sees her in a way that other people don't he's also somebody that she's starting to open up to and feel more comfortable with she um suffered from a tragedy in her family and is has been pretty bottled up ever since and for the first time she's actually like opening up about it and yeah I mean I'm really enjoying this so far I'm really loving all the heartfelt moments in it and I'm excited to keep reading and share my thoughts in my next wrap-up that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching this video and for clicking like on this and leaving a comment down below letting me know a book that you've read this month or maybe started reading this month that you are loving and are excited about or if you have any book recommendations that would also be great and uh, yeah make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!